Peter Gasoli. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So did you guys hear um, Casey Anthony has started a video blog? Because we were all real concerned about how she was doing. Uh, kind of wondering who the hell's sponsoring this thing. I was looking through my house, wondering what products would be used, and uh, I found something. I found uh, scented garbage bags, and I can just imagine that working, you know. When Casey Anthony needs a clingy garbage bag that smells like cookies on the inside, she turns to hefty. I see a lot of people also saying, well, Casey Anthony got past that jury, but she's going to have to answer to God. And didn't he also kill his kid to keep the party going? I think she might be able to talk her way out of this one. <clears throat> New Year's resolutions. Time for me to lose some weight. I'm way past due. Realized for the past six months, me and my girlfriend have just been eating junk food and hanging out in our pajamas and playing video games. And maybe in my mid-30s, it's time to stop living like Tom Hanks and Big. Uh, the thing I'm really going to miss about it is uh, baggy pants. I love having baggy pants when I'm big and fat. The problem is... They're really comfortable, but anytime I go up and down stairs or get into a car, I kind of have to like lift them up a little bit. And it makes me feel like an old southern belle in a big poofy skirt. You know, Thank you for escorting me to the cotillion. I don't even know what a cotillion is, but thank you for bringing me here, gentlemen. People ask me what my goal is on losing weight. It's like, I don't really have like a weight goal. I just want my belly to not look like someone poked their finger into memory foam. <laughs> really all I'm shooting for there. Ready for the diet? Because I just did the 2,000-mile uh, tour for Christmas relatives, doing the old uh, fast food diet. Totally sucked being out of town, though. I decided the phrase, no place like home, doesn't cut it. The phrase should be, not being home sucks five dicks with a mouth that only holds four. <laughs> I just like imagining that last one trying to squeeze in like a piglet at feeding time. <laughs> We get six hours into this trip, and my girl's like, okay, take a left up here by a barbecue place. I'm like, okay, what's the street name? She's like, I don't know the street name. Okay, we're 600 miles from home. The best you have is hang a left at brisket. <laughs> so I pull out the iPhone, and I start looking for directions with a little, you know, robot map lady voice. And uh, my girlfriend's like, why don't you just let me do it? It's like, because the robot lady's committed to the job. She's going to take care of this. She's like, can't you just have the tiniest bit of faith in me? That's exactly what I have in you. That's why robot ladies give me the fucking directions. Robot ladies never driving along going, so my mother was talking to my sister, and she said, if you're going to talk to the kids that... Wait a minute, I was supposed to tell you to turn around back there. Please make a U-turn. Don't look at me like that. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Look for a barbecue place. What really sucks about being out of town for me is using strange toilets. I've got a very comfortable one at home, but every place we went to had, like, the tiny, like, ancient from the 1930s toilet. It's like taking a shit in a Stanley Cup. I'm hunched over like a dog with scoliosis trying just to get it in the bowl. You guys ever text somebody you don't like because you know they're driving? I do. Thanks a lot. That's all my time.